When an aerial cameraman has spotted something really hot, the photos can be sent back by liaison plane, dropped by parachute, and men from the Air Service Center will carry on from there. They haven't much time. A squadron of fighter bombers is waiting for these prints. They'll be rushed back through the woods to a portable light tight lab. And in less than an hour, they'll be developed and printed, ready for briefing, ready to be translated into immediate action. The specialists of the Air Service Command can do anything necessary to keep these advanced fields in operation. The signal company will go out to repair a break in the field wire. One man keeps a lookout for enemy patrols. The other makes the splice. And now the message can get through. A routine request from one of the combat fields. It is received and decoded. Routine? Yes, but anywhere else it would be called emergency. One mission has just come back. It's blasted one airdrome, spotted more in construction. A big surprise attack at sunrise could finish off the lot. Can they get bombs and bullets and gas in time? The CO says it can be done. He mobilizes all the resources of the center, phones his junior officers, and tells them when and how much and how fast. Things begin to move. There's not much time. The ordnance companies prepare their tracers and incendiaries and APs. The planes are waiting on the combat field, waiting to take off waiting for these bullets to blast the enemy on the earth and in the sky. The belts are loaded into boxes. The boxes are loaded into trucks. Two days' work must be done in one afternoon.